Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osterberg501, and today I want to go over an incredibly easy AoE mob grinding farm. And this farm will give you a decent chunk of character and weapon experience, but this is mainly going to be used for gold farming through the sale of a rare high level resource. Now, I will have footage at the end of this video of this farm, so if you want to skip to that and check it out, but it's incredibly simple. It's in a very small area and all the enemies are very easy to kill they're very squishy so this farm is going to be located in eden grove and it's going to be right down by the blighted shrine at teleporter so you're just going to go to the left of that a little bit and there's going to be the mother well right here and you're going to have to be around level 50 you could definitely come here at a little bit lower level because of how easy the enemies are to kill you could probably come here at 45 and be fine the main quests do take you to this area but right on this road right below the mother well you're not going to go in the mother well itself there's going to be a bunch of exploding enemies so once you kill these enemies that are very squishy after a few seconds their body will explode and deal a bunch of damage and they also spit out poison that if you stand in it deals damage over time but like i said they're super squishy so you can kill them all very quickly there's like a dozen or a little over a dozen enemies in this area so you're just going to group them all up aoe them down super quickly roll out of the way so they don't blow up on you and that is going to be the entire farm now what i recommend doing and you'll see this in the video is right around down here you're able to place a camp just place a camp so once you're done killing all these enemies which will only take like 10 15 seconds come down to your camp rest up to get all your health back and then you're waiting for the respawn and i think these enemies spawn back after around a minute it could be a little bit under a minute but it's somewhere in that ballpark now like i said the main main reason to do this farm is to get the rare resources these enemies can drop but you still get a decent chunk of experience especially if you're factoring in that you kill these enemies super quickly and then you're waiting for the rest of the time so you can do this farm half afk go take 10 15 seconds to kill the enemies then watch netflix watch a youtube video for the rest of the time until they respawn so killing all these enemies is going to give you 260 character experience and give you a similar amount of weapon experience so if you want to level up a new weapon or finish leveling up a weapon this spot will definitely help do that and then past that you can get all the different loot you would normally expect so you can get your vials of suspended azoth you can get any of the tier 4 potions and then you can get all your different gear pieces up to epic you'll see in the footage i'm actually getting a bunch of epics here so you'll be getting a bunch of those bunch of greens bunch of blues and personally i sell all the blues and epics on the trading posts usually for 100 gold a piece and I do end up making a decent chunk of gold just from selling those but then that leaves the one main resource you're actually doing this farm for and that resource is going to be the firefox which is used for the manicious tuning orb now this is going to be incredibly sought after once a lot more people start to get to the end game and want to do this boss fight because this is for one of the boss fight arena in the game and you make a tuning orb for it just like you make for any of the expeditions and that is the orb right here and you need five of these firefoxes to make a single one of these orbs and i don't know if this has a specific level on this boss arena but this is going to be a more end game thing and one of the big reasons that this is going to be so sought after besides having decent end game gear is that it also has a bunch of different legendary items that can drop here and all of the legendaries are all specific items that have their own specific roles on them so if someone has a legendary item that's good for them here or that there's a good legendary item that they want from here they're going to have to make these keys or do it with someone else that has made these keys and you're going to need five firefox for every single one of these keys so these items are going to be pretty sought after and early on in the game's life like like right now these things are very rare currently mine are the only ones on the trading post and I have not seen any other of these been put up yet. And I'm not sure how much these Firefox are going to end up being worth, say in a week's time or depending on what server you're on. A lot of people could be farming these so they could be much cheaper or maybe nobody's farming them like on my server and there's none up so you could sell them for a lot more. But I have sold one of these Firefoxes 
since I started farming this was pretty much just been for a day at 1500 gold. And I have farmed a total of six of these firefoxes in around two to two and a half hours so far. So you get a decent chunk of these and I suspect that they're not going to be at 1500 gold for a long time, but that's currently what I was able to sell one for. And I do think they're going to be at a pretty decent price. I would say until a ton of people start getting to 60, these are probably going to be worth at least a thousand gold a piece. So if you go and farm this spot for say an hour, I would expect you to get at least one or two of these and that will give you a good chunk of gold once people start buying these or you can save them for yourself to make the tuning orbs yourself. And then past that, you're also going to be getting all the other items that you can sell like I mentioned. The blues, the epics I sell for 100 gold a piece and they do sell pretty frequently especially with how many you get here. You're getting the tier 4 healing potions, mana potions, and rejuvenation potions, which on my server are selling for 50 to 75 gold, depending on which one of the potions they are. You can get vials of suspended Azoth, which are selling for around 200 gold on my server. So the big money maker here is going to be the Firefox, but you can still make a ton of other gold selling the other items you get here. So that's all I want to go over with this farm. So subscribe if you want to see more New World or other MMO videos. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about this farm. And thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.